Hey guys. So I've been thinking about this past year and the ups and downs that I've experienced, not only in my life, but in other people's lives, in my work and in my personal life and things like that. And there seems to be this pattern of ups and downs. Everyone knows what it's like to have a good day and everyone knows what it's like to have a bad day. You know, there's these ups and there's these downs and that's just kind of how life is. And so I was thinking about this last year for me and it's been this crazy roller coaster of a year. I mean, this has probably been one, one of the biggest years of my entire life, but it's also been one of the hardest and it seems to always balance itself out. So for example, I'll just kind of go through the year chronologically in January, Morgan and I decided that we were going to move to the East Bay from San Francisco. And I was so happy about this. I was glad to get out of the city and we found this fantastic place. So we moved in here at the beginning of February and it was so great. It's such a change from New York City or from living right in the middle of San Francisco. It's so quiet. We actually have a house, we have a deck, and it was this really big change, but it was something that I was ready for. And, you know, it was, it was amazing. And then March rolls around and it's open enrollment time at my work for benefits. And that's when I found out that I could use my flex spending to help pay for my surgery. And I'd already saved up like $10,000 at that point, and I was able to put the the rest of the money, the extra $11,000, on my flex spending, and that's what allowed me to be able to plan my surgery. So in March, I found out, oh my gosh, I'm finally going to be able to get my surgery after like six years, and it's finally going to happen. And so I'm like making my appointment and planning my leave from work and stuff like that, and they said they were going to get me in in July. And then, like, two days later, I get a call, and they say, oh, actually, can you do it in May? Um, which was, like, six weeks away or something like that. And so I spent the next six weeks, weeks from, like, March through April just, like, being totally crazy. Like, figuring out all this financial stuff for paying, and, you know, some you could pay with a credit card, and some you can't, and some would take flex spending, and some wouldn't and figuring out leave from work and like how does that work and having to get disability and all these things like it was just like a total crazy time and then May rolls around and I get my surgery and I'm just I can't believe I can't believe that I actually did that that I was able to do that I mean I, I was saving so long it was like this goal forever and I got it and Achieving something that you've been really focused on for so long is such a relief and a really big deal uh, that it was really exciting. So, you know, May, I get my surgery and then I'm recovering and June rolls around and I go back to work and I work at a, a transgender drop-in center and so it's uh, Pride in June and so I go back to work and it's just crazy. It's just crazy because we're like, I come back on Pride Week basically, which is our like crazy time of the year. All of our events and going out to street fairs and stuff like that. So, and at the same time, I'm also recovering still from surgery. So that was just nuts. Um, July rolls around and it's the end of our contract for our drop-in space at work. And so we are getting a new contract and so like we're going through all this craziness at work trying to figure out okay how's this going to work what's this going to look like we have this new funding we're losing this old funding and you know really interesting time but also just really hectic really hard and then August rolls around and August was a pretty actually July I think it was in July or August but um, I don't think I've talked about this yet but I actually ended up um, cutting out my family from my life. Um, and it was not an easy decision to make. Um, I mean, my family has never really supported my transition, but over the past six years, they had gotten better and they had tried um, to understand, but my parents had just never really gotten it. And it came to this point where I... Uh, I got found on Facebook by a cousin of mine 
And so he friended me. I don't know how he found me, but he did, and he friended me. And then his aunt, who's my dad's sister, found me through there and added me, and then added me to this Facebook group for my family. And it was really cool because I found, like, all these cousins that I'd lost touch with. I have, like, 65 cousins on one side, big Mormon family. And I found out that there were two cousins who actually live in San Francisco, like, less than a mile from where I was living. And I had no idea until I got into this Facebook group. And so I was, like, really excited. I was starting to connect with my extended family, who I had been out of contact with for six years since I started my transition. And, uh, like, the next day after getting invited to this group, my aunt uh, sends me this message on Facebook, and she says that um, my mom had found out that I had been invited to this Facebook group and got really, really upset about it and uh, requested that I be removed from the group because uh, apparently I'm going to kill my grandma because my grandma had a heart attack seven years ago and her finding out that one of her 65 grandchildren is obviously just, it's going to kill her. Obviously. Like, it makes total sense, right? Um, so there were, there were a couple other reasons. Uh, like, they didn't want my youngest sister to get bullied when she's in high school. And so they're like, oh, we'll come out to the extended family for you when grandma dies and when your sister has graduated high school. And I'm at this point, it had been six years that I'd been struggling with my family. And it was still always an issue anytime I wanted to go home for Thanksgiving or Christmas or anything. It was always this big issue of, oh, well, is there going to be extended family there? Oh, well, you have to dress gender neutral, which is baggy jeans and a t-shirt, which isn't gender neutral. That's like a boy. Um, and I, I just had had it up to here. I was done dealing with this. I have my own family. I have Morgan and I have friends and co-workers and people who actually do care about me and accept me for who I am. And I had to um, stop letting my family get to me like that because I kept thinking they're getting better, they're getting better, they're getting better. And then they weren't. And so August uh, was pretty hard. Because that was, um, it was a big step for me to take a stand against my parents. Um, you know, and it's hard anytime you're dealing with family, especially if it's something drastic like this. It's hard. And it sounds dumb. It's not about like, oh, they unfriended me on Facebook and I'm angry. It's what it represents. It's that they won't let me be a part of the family. And I don't want to be a part of a family that won't accept me as a member of that family. So that's what it was about. Um, so like for every up, like my surgery, which was amazing, there's this down, like my family. And I was thinking about it, just about all these ups and downs that I've been through this year. And realizing that in life, there's always ups and downs. There's always gonna be your good days. And there's always gonna be your bad days. And all we can do in life is hope that the good outweighs the bad. And this year, even though there were amazing ups and these terrible downs, the ups were amazing. The ups were incredible. And that's what you got to focus on. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that thought. I know it's rambly. Anyway. I will uh, catch you guys later, and thank you for listening. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Hey, guys. Boy, I was thinking about this all the way home as I was walking home. And I had it, like, all planned out in my head, and I sit down, and it's gone. I'm going to try again. Take four. Past, you know, 12 months at... Uh, of, of going through, oh my god, somebody always calls. Hello?